Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CDP. It's Wednesday, the 27th of July. We've got some brilliant new mods. Uh, we've got some updates, one of them brilliant, and I'm going to show it. Um, actually, we'll talk about the updates now. Uh, the Magazine Ball Spike and Pliers by Fred Modding. The Open Air Garden by Omatana, which is in front of me. The Goldcrest Decoration Pack by Puma145. The Old Wooden Barn by Matej Mods. And the Grain Quid Storage by Missy B have all had updates. Now, I don't often go in and if something's been updated, unless it's a major update, and even then sometimes I don't. But because I'm using this at the moment on the Western Wilds and the update is fairly significant so I'm gonna have a look at it um, so the open air garden by Omatana is 1.52 megabytes download the update to this adds some extra crop types in now if you haven't used these before I've, I did them review them when they first came out now these will do your regular greenhouse crops so it will do tomatoes lettuce and strawberries it will also do potatoes and sunflower that was the standard I say the standard version that Omatana put out. This has now been updated to add sugar beet. I've got sugar beet growing in those boxes. Corn. No, hang on. Sugar beet. Cotton, corn and soybean. That's definitely the corn. That's the cotton. So that must be the soybean. But that's not all as well. There's other stuff been added in too. Now these, um, depending on what recipe you want to go for, uh, you can just do the standard ones. So now you've got tomato, lettuce, strawberry, potato, sunflower, sugar beet, soybean, corn and cotton. If you add seeds and solid fertiliser, you get a better production rate. I mean, actually saying that, those are pretty impressive. But that's only a two to three. When you go up to here, you've got more stuff going in. Um, and then you can do it with um, seed and manure as well, which is generally what I tend to go for, because the manure is cheaper to buy, or if your animals are producing it, than it is for solid fertiliser. But um, that's the first part of it. So four added crop types onto those, which for me at the moment on Western Wilds, I, I want to get, I need some corn, but sugar beet as well. That's a no, I mean, to be fair, all of them, that it's a no-brainer. So, added into this pack, if we go into build mode, and I go to, what was the first one I go to? Production. And we go to, is it the greenhouses? Or is it just on a production? Just on a production, there. Second one in from the end, distributor. So it's added in this, a distributor, which acts like a production chain in a way. So rather than putting all of the things you need in at the actual open garden, if you buy the distributor, we go and click on this, this one here, the distributor, you can put your water, seed, solid fertilizer manure into here, and it takes a lot of products as well. Um, I think it will do like 500,000 litres of seed manure, but you set that then onto distributing. So once you've set that onto distributing, on the hour, it distributes from the distributor out to the greenhouses, the open gardens. So you don't have to go to all the, the greenhouses, open gardens individually. You can just come to one point here, put in what you need, and then on the hour, it sends it all out to where it needs to go. Now, the other thing it says it's added in, if we go down to it's a container or tools, under container, on the very end, it's hard to see, there's a pump. If we zoom in a little bit, you'll see the one that's in the ground, actually. We'll look at that. There's a pump. Now, this bit's got me a little bit puzzled because it does say, um, for free water, there is a small garden pump that can be placed next to the garden or the distributor. Now, I placed it next to the distributor. I placed it next to the gardens and nothing happened. So I don't think it's an automatic watering point, but... It's almost like a standpipe of its own. So you can put it there and you can collect your water and put it in, but it's free. So rather than it being an automatic, because I thought, oh, that's brilliant. It's an automatic one. It's not an automatic one. There are some modded ones out there. A lot of people message me because I've been using these in Western Wales to say there are some automatic ones that you can place and it will continually refill your water. And I have found if you go in to use silo extensions, that blue one there, supplementary water tank, if you place those... If I turn off the thing and put those close by, 
I haven't had my water go down at all on the Western Wilds. So, new crop types, four new crop types to add into this, plus a distributor, plus a standpipe, should you wish to use it. I thought that was significant enough to warrant a look. Now, moving on from there, free fuel. Who doesn't want free fuel? Free fuel, 1.12 megabytes download. This is by Oz Farmer. These are the standard in-game fuel tanks. They have been changed slightly. They are very expensive to buy and place, but once bought and placed, the fuel is then free. The trigger is sitting on the top because you can go all the way around it. It's not just one side, so that sits above it if you've got it turned on, and you can fill up all the way around it. So these are the standard ones. They're 285,000 to buy, which seems like a lot. Bear with me. Two slots, two slots, three slots, and three slots. Now, depending if you're running multiplayer, you're doing your farm, if you think you're going to use enough fuel to warrant that initial outlay, then great, go for it. There is a flip side to it, though. If you are selling fuel, if you're on a map where you can sell fuel and fuel prices are pretty good, once you've placed this and the fuel then, as it says, refuel, is free, down bottom, uh, bottom right, fuel's filling up, top right not going up at all which means you could do runs out and back to wherever you're selling your fuel to and you'll recover the money for your tank in no time i know bonkers isn't it if you go down to uh now are these on a container these are on a container so these four here 285 grand or 285,500. sorry i underpriced them um so yeah, it depends how you want to look at it. If you're going to play the game strictly following you know, a set of rules and you're going to say to yourself, am I going to use £285,000, euros or dollars worth of fuel while I'm playing this Let's Play? If you are, buy one. Perfect. If you want to do the odd fuel run here and there to make a bit of extra money, not a bad idea, I must say. That's the free fuel by Oz Farmer. Now, I set all this up and then had to go and do a chore. I had to run an errand with my wife. Um, in the time I did that and came back, this mod has disappeared off the mod hub. I'm going to review it anyway because I've already got it placed. Now, I'm, I'm talking about the website mod hub. I haven't come back out of the game to check the mod hub mod hub. But this is the agricultural input production by Design Farming. 4.98 megabytes download, 16 slots on console, and it will cost you 70 grand to buy and place. You'll find it under productions. So we're going to build mode productions and scroll along there. We should get to it right at the very end. 70 grand. Now, like I say, this could be missing from your mod hub, but I will have a quick look at it anyway. Inputs to this wheat, canola, soybean, barley, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. They all take 100,000 litres. The liquid fertiliser and herbicide, I didn't put as much in, just to save a bit of time setting it all up. Um, and you can produce mineral feed, bond silage, silage additive, or seeds. The mineral feed is a 15, 15 for 25 out. Cycles per month, 720. I think all of them are cycles uh, 720. The bond silage additive is 10, 10, 15 out. And the seed is 30, 15, 15, and you get 50 of seed out. But that requires wheat. Uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide for that recipe so if i click each one of those on you should see at some point 720 cycles per month it should start to go up so you can produce your own mineral feed your own silage additive and your own seeds if you want to if you've got the crops you've got the stuff there why not 70 grand to buy in place but like i say assuming of course is still in your mod hub moving on from there we've got these this is the wash station this is by missy b uh, 2.87 megabytes download, 8 slots on console for that one, 3 slots on console for that one. That one will cost you 10 grand, that will cost you 1 grand. So this one you've got a double wash plant, you've got glass partitions here to the side, and the glass one there, I only got up so far, but click on it. Works like any other jet wash, but this one's a double. So if you're on multiplayer and you've got more people wanting to go and wash their vehicles at the same time, you can run a double wash plant. Well, this one it's just a standard static a lot of the ones are about four grand to place i know there are some cheap ones in the mod top as well now so this one's only a grand nicely detailed do the job you'll find these under tools 10 grand one grand as i said slot counts do come down to one for any subsequent one after that um the 
Wash Station by Missy B. Next, we've got these. Start at this end here. And um, this is the Shed 10 by 12 meter. This is by Nalu. 2.99 megabytes download. Three slots each on console. We've got a 25,000 one. We've got a 20,000 one, and we've got a 15,000 one. Now you can have all three of these in red, all three of these in blue, or all three of those in green. So I put one of each on because I thought that would kind of make more sense. There's no lighting or anything in them. That one's completely closed in. That one's got a rear section. That one's completely open. So it depends on what you want to use them for. You'll find them under build modes and sheds. If we scroll across, you'll see now. So in the red, 25,000, 20,000, 15,000. The blue, the same. And the green, the same. So depending on what colour you want to go for or mix and match them around your farm, that's entirely up to you. The Shed 10x12 by, by Nalu. Next, we've got something. This, <laughs> I was saying to Mrs. Silly P, um, just to throw the cat among the pigeons, this is the Selectable Bale Capacity Pack by GH66 Mods. 0 0.19 megabytes download. If you're having problems with bale limits, and you're finding them frustrating, even with the new bale sizes for FS22, you know, if you think back to FS19 and previously, 4,000 litres was normally the average, normally the average was normal. Some mods did a little bit more. FS22 gave us different bale sizes, but also different bale sizes with different capacities within each product. So grass bales, hay bales, straw bales, and silage bales all have different sizes and capacities yeah, depending on what you're running through, square and round. This one adds a, a whole load more into the mix and gives you mahoosive bales. And I'm not joking when I say that. This wrapped square bale here, 24,000 litres. That straw bale, 44,000 litres. That round bale, 30,000 litres. And that square bale, 26,000 litres. Now, this pack comes with all the standard in-game balers with the ability to do that, including baler wrappers, but be warned, some of the wrapping will only work on a size down. It will make sense in a moment. You can go two times capacity, three times capacity, or four times capacity. And that's all on the settings for bale size. So you've got your standard in-game ones, 120, 125, 150, and 180, isn't it, for round then you've got 180 220 240 for square with this option if you go with anything that has a two at the end of it it's two times anything with a three at the end of it three times anything with a four at the end of it four times but the very very largest ones won't wrap because i got that one and i tried to wrap it with this baler wrapper and it wouldn't do it the next size down did so if you want to wrap your bales um, even through the baler wrappers, because that bale there is the larger one you can do for grass. It came out the back of the baler wrapper and didn't wrap. So I probably needed to knock that down a size. Again, it will all make, make a bit more sense in a moment. Now, there is a note here. It says, due to the modified bale size, any bale loaders and bale wrappers that are not modified to support the new size will not work. If you want to use bale loaders and you want to use bale wrappers, you need to use the ones from this pack. Otherwise, they won't work just as a warning so if we go into how baling equipment and along to balers scroll across until we get to the ones here so starting with the bio baler that will do your poplar bales wood chip bales so that's on there the perting impress you've got the perting impress 185 uh, wrapper the rollant so all of these are all now part of the selectable bale capacity pack keep scrolling across they're all on there if we then go down to or across, sorry, to bale loaders and we scroll across, so the standard in-game bale loaders, the four stack 812, the FSX 6372, the multi-pack D14 and the RBM 2000, all part of this. So if you've done bales with this pack and you want to pick them up with these ba these auto loaders, you have to use the ones from this pack. The standard in-games won't, won't work. And then bale wrappers, again, come to the end. If you want to wrap those bales, you need to use these ones from the mod pack and they will work. But like I say, not that it wouldn't work on the very large ones for me. Just putting it out there. You might want to come down a size. So huge bales, the larger the capacity, the, the less bales you'll need for you know, it makes sense. You can get more bales on. It will still be a 200 limit, 
but because you've got more per bale, you're getting more product. You're getting more product for the same amount of bales. That was the best way of putting it. So let's go on to the square baler. I'm not going to run them all through and show you everything, but they work exactly the same way. The slot counts, there's so many to look at. The slot counts are pretty much the same as the standard in-game ones, as far as I can tell. Um, but if we go to this here, R1, change bale size. So if I go back to standard, let's go R3. Oh, I've gone all the way through now, which should come back out. There. So we've got a 180 centimetre, 220 centimetre, 240 centimetre. That's the standard. If I then go one more across, we've got 182. So if it's got a two at the end, that's two times the bale capacity. Then it goes to a 222, a 242. So whatever the standard bale sizes would be, it doubles them. If I go again and another one over, 183, if it's got a three on the end, it'll be three times the bale capacity. 183, 223, 243. Then you go again, 184. If it's got a four on the end, it's four times the bale capacity. So you, you've got such a multitude of bale capacity options now. 184, 224, 244. And like I said, the 244 square bale wouldn't go through the baler wrapper. And then we go back to standard. So I'm going to turn that off a second. And if we go to the round baler, actually, I'm going to try something with this one. The round baler, same options. If you go for the 184, it wouldn't wrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to standard, 150, 180, 132, 152, 182, 133, 153, 183. I'm going to try a 183, and hopefully, if this works, turn on automatic drop. No, we'll leave it. It should come out the back end wrap, and it should be three times the standard bail capacity. If if I've if I've got this right, I think I have. We're about to find out, aren't we? It's all part of the fun. Just bear with me a minute while I fill this up. Isn't it mad how you kind of now you just without even thinking now we're going beyond four thousand litre bales without even really it's another one of those things that we just take for granted. Another one of those things that's brought to the game and now it's like, well, yeah, it's just commonplace now. We do it all the time. And then this now adds a whole other dimension to it. So uh, this is a game changer. I haven't really used that term a lot on FS22 because there's been so many things that really have changed the way the game is played. But I suppose, yeah, with a 200 bale limit on console, this is a game changer. Because it does mean even if you hit your 200 bale limit, you've got far more product within those bales, or you certainly can have far more product within those bales. If you think about those straw bales at 11,000 litres normally, four times 44,000 litre bales, you have 200 of those. That's some big numbers. I'm not going to work out what that is, but I hope this wraps. Please wrap. Come on. Come on now, play the game. Hmm, that's interesting. That one's not wrapping either. That's a worry. Well, this hasn't got something I've got to do. No, I don't have to turn that on. It should just be doing it. Right, okay, let's try once more. What I'm going to do, I hope it's not a problem with the mod. Let's go to... 150, let's go through and do 182. We'll bring it down a little bit more. It doesn't say anything about it. It just says if you want to use... Due to the modified bale size, any bale loads and bale wrappers that are not modified to support the new sizes will not work. It just doesn't seem to want to know. Oh, trouble I've got something come out the back already. Hmm... Maybe the bale wrapping isn't working then. Maybe you have to come down the side. I mean, that's got 22,500 litres in it. But it's supposed to be. Anyway, I mean, even if you're not doing bale wrapping, if you just do your bales, then come along with a baler wrapper. Or, sorry, a bale wrapper. That should work. But, yeah, so I think it's you know, fantastic. What a cracking mod. So, moving on from there, we're going to go to the lizard trailers. Bear with me. 
Actually, I'll take that back. I'm going to go to this next. This is the Class Crop Sensor by Vertex Design 2.88 megabytes download, three slots on console. This is uh, needs to be used with, uh, with precision farming. If you try to install it, it will install precision farming if you haven't got it installed, or it will give you a warning to say, do you wish to install it? Um, this works like the standard in game. If we go down to miscellaneous and we go along with precision farming, we've got the Isaria Scout and the Isaria Proactive. So when you're doing your nitrogen, when you're putting your fertilizer down, the Proactive is on the front and that's a sensor and that senses what's already down, works out depending on the ground type, how much needs to be applied, which sends the information back to the sprayer, spreader, and it will allow whatever it needs to be putting down. This, don't know why I came off there, this is a class version of it, in essence. You have warning signs on or off, and it does exactly the same thing. So when you hook your stuff up on the back, but like I say, it only works with precision farming, it doesn't work with anything else. It's just a class version of, and then uh, you go onto your field and it will notify the equipment on the back, what needs to be applied, when, where, how, there you go. I mean, that's really all there is to it. It's just, it just works like the regular crop sensors. Awesome. That's by Vertex Design. I'm, I don't want to appear to be doing them a disservice, but that's what it does. It works like the other. Uh, from there, we're going to go to the Lizard Trailers. This is by ARM Team, 7.61 megabytes download. We've got a 10 ton and we've got a 12 ton. I know that looks bigger because you can have a silage option, which I've gone for. Unlike some trailers, if you go for the silage option, it does only do forage crops. It won't do all crop types, uh, just to bear that in mind. Uh, they're both four slots each. It reminds me, is it Marshall or Stuart? It's the Stuart trailers, isn't it? Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of Irish trailer companies out there, and they always they kind of blend for me. Is it Brown and Broth? I'm never quite sure how to say it. Um, anyway, I think it looks like a Stuart trailer. But anyway, let's just it's the Lizard trailer as far as it stands in on in on console. So if we go to trailers, the 10 ton, the 12 ton, 10 grand, 24 grand. Options, grain body at 12,900 litres, silage body at 22,200, but like I say, that will only do forage crop types, it won't do all crop types. Uh, then we've got Will Brand, Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Fredstein, back to Lizard. Lizard, that standard. Trelleborg, AW309s, T404s and T421s. Twin radials, back to AW309s. Michelin, we've got Cargo XBIB and Cargo XBIB HD. And then BKT, just that. Vredestein, just that, and back to Lizard. You can have it with or without reflectors. Fenders, rear fender, both fenders, or off completely. Cover, yes or no. Now, the cover will only be there if you have the smaller version. If you go for the, the um, silage one, it doesn't come with the cover option. Main colour, anything on that palette. Rim colour, anything on that palette. But there's no cover option so the cover will be yellow no matter what you choose and then we've got this one which has got the arched uh, front and rear to it and the arch in the center as well um 15,300 liters or 27,000 and then all the other options are exactly the same as the previous one so what we'll do is hop in start it up now i did want to put my beacons on because i know some of the ones from 4d modding had brilliant lighting on them and stuff like that uh, unload Fairly quick unload. There goes our requisite mod helicopter every single time. Uh, and then if we go for the 12 ton, I've got the cover on this one so we can open cover. If you go for the smaller version, you have the option to unload standard or grain door. Cover open and closed. I've got it on tip side back or tip side grain door like so and then close that down but again fairly rapid nice animation works really nicely that's the lizard trailer trailers by arm team which brings me on to the last of the mods for today and it's this i'm just going to double check that make sure i haven't dropped any maps or anything while i've been out no we should be okay 
This is awesome. This is a bit of a beast, isn't it? Uh, this is the Class Torian 1914 by HR Forst and Fazwigbau. 11.69 megabytes download, 14 slots on console. So this is a, a modified version of the standard in-game one, as you can see, with tyre options. And we have some colour options and things as well. If we go to our vehicles and to our wheel loaders. So, Torian 1914 on the end, the mod. Same price for the standard version. You get that as the standard colour, or you can have the Dev Mule. That was the, if you weren't aware, that was the colour that um, Class put on it when they were. It was in development, so people couldn't really tell what it was, and that came as an option on. Was it 19? I think it was on 19, wasn't it? Um, yeah. So uh, you can have either one of those. But if you go on to standard, we can change all those colours in a moment, anyway. So Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, BKT, Vredestein, Nokian, Olesfors. Or back on the Trelleborg standard wide or TM 3000s, Michelin standard wide Mega X bib, Continental standard wide Mitis standard wide SFT 1000s, BKT standard and wides, Friedenstein just that, Nokian we got Ground King, Tractor King, TR 12, back to Ground King. Olus 4s, we've just got the Pro Grip U. Now, I will show you on this first. If we go down here to Options, where are we? Right at the bottom, Olus 4 Colours. If we click on that, and you go for Stainless Steel, you can change the chain colour for the Olus 4s if you've gone for the Olus 4 option. I wanted to show you that before I moved on to the other options. So what we'll do is go... Now, oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's go with that, the TM3000. Not that it matters. Window T... T Teeting, tinting, yes or no. Beacon light, we go through a lot of different options. We've got design one through to design eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I went for the clear strobe, but you can have an orange strobe and then there's all different fishbowl shapes and different things. Front fender, yes or no. So you can take the front fender off if you don't want it. Then we've got engine setup, 228 horsepower, 280 horsepower. It's only 3,500 to go up to 280 horsepower, so not too expensive. Uh, lettering background colour, that's around the class logo, so you can change that if you want to. And that will depend on what you mix and match for everything else. Um, actually, how did the tinting get done? I didn't want window tinting. There we go. So, seat colour, I went for a beigey brown, but again, you can pick anything you like. Main colour, anything on that palette. And then cabin colour, again, anything on that palette. That makes that blue look really horrible now, but anyway. Uh, Olive Force colours we looked at already. Rim colour. There was, what did I find? There was like a silvery, this one here, dark grey metal. I quite like the look of that. And then we've got license plate option on there too. If we hop in and start it up. Look at that. I'm thinking like silage clamp work and anything really. Bit of movement, a bit of lean on it. Born, strobe. Lighting's pretty good too. If you go for the strobe, of course. Interior, nice and tidy. And we do have some options at the moment. Same control group arm one so that's my raising and lowering and tilting of my arm but if i go for doors and windows l1 and right stick side to side opens and closes the door up and down opens and closes the window so from inside you'll be able to see that a little bit better see that the window going as well maybe it's not as easy from inside if we come around to the other side we do r1 and right stick up and down that window opens and closes two I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And that's it for the mods for Wednesday the 27th of July. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. Did I say, I think I did, didn't I, just to make sure I did say it. Um, when you put all the stuff into here and put, you have to put it onto distributing to go to these, it distributes on the hour like any other production chain does. So if you first do it, fill this up and can't understand why there's nothing in here, on the hour it will distribute, then obviously your things will run and do whatever they're doing, then on the next hour it will distribute again. But the great thing being you only have to come back and fill this up, you haven't got to fill all the others up. So, Yes, um, if you have found it useful and informative, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. 
whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.